getting you more details of the story that remember has been ongoing and the question that is being asked who are these fanatics to hit out when it comes to the freedom of speech freedom of expression we are talking of taslima nasreen who remember faced protest about two days back she is hitting back now at these fanatics she uh, just has tweeted and i quote uh, she says the mla imtiaz jalil who organized uh, the mob to stop me from entering a city was a journalist but he himself doesn't believe in free speech unquote let's get in our colleague chetanya who joins us on the phone line uh, to get us more details of what the entire uh, story could be developing into now chetanya there will be questions also asked as far as the police goes why did the police not let uh, someone like a taslima nasreen you know even move out from the airport if they were not scared if they were able to provide security to taslima nasreen why then was she asked to go back well that's a uh, uh, quite a tricky question uh, to the police because when we asked them about this they told us that there were two options given to taslima at that point of time one was that she can wait for 30 minutes and all the security and that a few pieces not all the pieces on the that was the first uh, option given to her and the second option was that she will be diverted to mumbai from the same air india flight which landed in aurangabad from delhi so these were the options that were given to her apart from that uh, the local police also claimed that they were completely unaware about her visit to aurangabad and uh, later on uh, uh, the argentine elora case so uh, it is also understood that uh, the cinema had kept this particular visit very very secret uh, there was Uh, there were very few people who were aware about this particular visit and the question was that how did this uh, get leak into uh, these uh, protesters how did they get to know about it how did uh, they gather over there because even the hotel room where she was uh, uh, she was planning to stay mm-hmm. for the next 3 days was not booked her in her name it was booked in another friend's name so this was the entire planning that was done by her a mm-hmm. uh, proper planning but then apparently the information was leaked mm-hmm. and that is how these people got to know the protesters uh, the aimm workers who gathered outside the airport and also okay. the hotel where she was expected to stay and they started protesting and that is how pressure was built and at the time of 6 the cops got right, to know Chetanya, that all right chetanya i'll just take a moment uh, you know to actually get our viewers to look at uh, the screens there because on the screen we are putting out the tweets now Uh, from the Twitter handle of Taslima Nasreen, and look at what she says. She says, "I was forced to leave Hyderabad, Kolkata, Jaipur, or Angabad. No, I don't cry. I know thousands of people love me. Love means a lot to me. But you know, on the top of it, also Chetanya, she is hitting out at Imtiaz Jalil, the MLA of the AIM, who was present there. You know, outside the airport, and she says that this is a man who doesn't believe in free speech at all." about Imtiaz Jalil he is the person who had organized the entire protest he, in fact when i spoke to him yesterday he did say that yes i was the person who was leading the protest mm. i was the person who had brought all these people over there in fact he also said that there were people waiting with eggs and tomatoes uh, uh, just for the sleeman asking so that they can attack her these were the things what he has said in fact he said that i was the one who to call the police and inform them about uh, her visit and also ask them not to allow her into the city so he has he has in fact agreed to all these things he says that yes he did all these things but then when he somewhere forgets that even he was a he, he is a former journalist he is a former journalist he knows uh, what is the mm. fundamental right of a person and when he is trying to uh, hamper the fundamental right of someone else he should understand as to whatever he is doing is not right and even when i told him that the law is there to take action if they feel anything is wrong he says that we did not take law in our own hands we were just protesting and it is up to the police as to what they think if the police uh, you know if the police was scared of us then it it is very clear that the, uh, we are more powerful than the police so these were the kind of statements that we got from him yesterday when mm. we spoke to him so this is very uh, difficult uh, to understand as to what is the mentality of aimm at this point of time and these uh, fringe outfit because uh, uh, she was there as a tourist she was not there for any political or a cultural event to to address a gathering nothing of that mm. sort was organized it was just tourist visit she was there as a tourist she had a 3 day plan to visit ajanta yellow and some historical mm. places that's all uh, what she has said but then all of a sudden when these things happened it it was also for the police to decide as to what action could have been taken against the aimm workers who gathered over there and were forcing her to return back on uh, uh, almost on gun point uh, the police could have taken action against the mla and his mm. supporters rather the police decided to ask taslima to return or to <laughs> divert her towards mumbai so that was not something which went down well with taslima and that is the reason we see these tweets coming out the series of tweets in fact which just started from yesterday 
Yes, and Imtiaz Jalil, uh, the man that we are talking about, the IM MLA, remember, is up there on our screens. He's the man. Viewers, look at him. Who is he to browbeat someone like a Taslima Nasreen? And why? Why did this state surrender? Those are so many questions still unanswered for the moment, Chaitanya. Thank you.